This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello, Halbini fans, and welcome to another episode of The Engineering Show, fronted by a five-year-old pillock. In today's episode, this, this wasn't actually sent to me, this was sent to the hairdresser, but we'll come to that after I've lifted it. Oh, God. The show's first e-bike. Yes, it's, well, been a long time coming, but this is it. So this was sent to the hairdresser because she is, uh, she has a side hustle where she works for the NHS. If you're not familiar with the NHS, those in the UK will be. Um, healthcare in the UK is basically free. So if you break your arm or break your leg, riding your bike, you don't need insurance. The um, national health system will cover it for you. So part of that is she often has to go around to various places and um, she's been historically taking a car, but as with so many things in life, uh, it's becoming more difficult because parking is more of a problem than taking the vehicle. So this came along from Futura Ride and they asked her to review it. Um, she didn't want to appear on the show because she doesn't want to be associated with this mindless pillock like myself. Um, so I've got it for this review. So in the scope of delivery, you get the bike, which we'll come to in a minute. You also get all of this stuff, which I wasn't quite expecting and neither was she. Um, you get like a load of Allen keys and sort of hex keys, which will cover everything on the bike. Now I didn't use these when I built it up for her. I just used the, the normal set. So I've no idea if they're any good. To be honest, given the price of the bike, which was 1500 quid, uh, which is about $1,700, I won't expect you to use that more than once or twice before you start rounding the ends off, so bear that in mind. Uh, the manual the manual is actually very good. Um, compared to the usual uh, stuff that you get, this is quite comprehensive, and I guess it has to be because it requires... Um, uh, it's basically a motorised device, so you have to go through much more stringent regulations than you would just for any old push bike. And this is like a quick quick start guide to get you all going so yes yeah, so when it came the pedals were separate you've got the charger uh, pump kickstand the kickstand was actually already on it um, and a few other bits and pieces I will um, uh, show you some of the footage of uh, when it was built I didn't mention the pump but that also comes with it as well right so this is the bike so if I give you a fairly brief overview of it it's yeah it's about 1500 quid um, delivered to your door. Uh, that comes from a warehouse in the UK, EU, or if you're in the States, also from there. Uh, Futura Ride is the company. I will link to them in the description. The body of this bike is aluminium. Um, there's a few welds in strategic places. So I have checked them. There's one there. Um, given the price of the bike, um, yeah, I mean, it's geometrically sound. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. Uh, they're 160 mil rotors. It's a brand that I haven't heard of. So if you've heard of Camros, Camrus, um, then do let me know. The bike has, at the time of review, probably about 600 kilometers on it. Um, I will. Uh, do a, a further review down the line when it's got a bit more on um, and it's mainly been in spring and summer mileage the pedals are you know, just flat pedals there's no clip-ons in there and it's quite a wide Q factor because it's based on an MTB bike the battery is located in here so you have I mean it's a big battery is very very heavy um, and there's a key to get it off there, I'll show you that now. You just literally put the key in, turn it, and the battery pops off, and you can take it out. Motor drive in this bike is this rear hub motor. It's rated at 250 watts. We've got this, uh, again, Camros um, brake caliper. I've checked that for perpendicularity against the axle, and again, it is, it's bang on. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, over here, is nine speed drivetrain it is shimano altus um it just works <laughs> there's, there's nothing really uh, to, to say about it the uh the hairdresser tends to leave it in a single gear and it's fairly 
um, depending how you want to say it, it's, it's a fairly high ratio um, because the motor drive gives you quite a lot of assistance. You could just probably just do it, leave it as a single speed and you'd be fine with it. Um, again, that just works. The geometry on there, um, geometrically, it's, it's welded accurately um, and there's nothing more really that I can say about that. So this is a city bike or commuter bike and it comes with rail light. It's actually really bright. Uh, so you just turn it on and off. Um, the seat, seat is just whatever came with it. It's got some adjustment on it. Um, you've also got this, which is the quick release. Now the bike is quite big, um, but the quick release, I mean, sometimes when I take it to the, go to the shops or whatever, uh, it's fairly straightforward. You just obviously fling that out. So at the front, you've got the bell, which is the most important feature ever. Um, handlebars, this doesn't have a throttle on it, so it's pedal assist. Um, gear levers, which are just your Shimano normal ones. Um, brakes, now the brake on the front has a switch, which when you press that will deactivate the motor. And it's the same on that one. Now this bike is uh, cabled up in the UK format, so this brake does the front wheel and this brake does the back wheel. Now imagine if you bought this on the continent or in the States, it would be done the other way, but it's just for information more than anything else. Now we come on to the juicy bit. This is the electronic controller, so if I've fired it up. Now this one um, is the S830 model and one of the key features of this is you can de-restrict it. So if you press and hold these two buttons together and then scroll to button number eight. So press the M button down to get to eight. You can change that. So that's the speed at which the um, pedal assist knocks off at. So 100 is basically de-restricted. Normally it's at uh, 24, 25 kilometers per hour. Um, obviously that's completely legal and you do it at your own risk, but um, if you're going off road, you do what you like. Um, so there we go, so that, yeah, 100 is de-restricted, then you can do what you want, and then to get out of that menu, press and hold that twice. Now there is a bug, every time you do that, it, on the, I don't know if it's a bug actually, but it resets the odometer, um, so it's gone to zero, but it's, it's done way more miles than that. But just going through this, you've got your current speed, which I've set in kilometers per hour, um, battery charge, 55%, power assistance, so every time you press this button, it goes one, two, three. You can actually have up to five settings on there. Um, when you do that, it gives you more assistance and more torque. So three is of the full 250 watts of torque. And um, the odometer's there, that you know resets itself. If you press um, M, it goes to trip. Voltage is battery, current, and time. So that's one minute 33 since I pressed the button. Now, because this is a, a city bike, the front light is actually powered off the main battery so you can press the button and the light comes on again summer months probably don't use it but it's a nice feature to have the other key thing that i think really helps the ride quality is this so the, the front fork can be open or locked so if i get around and press So that's unlocked and then you can twiddle this little knob and that locks it up um, so depending on what you want to do you can either have it nice and comfy or a bit more locked so now we come on to the bit of the review of the video that is more my opinion rather than some hard facts um, so what's this bike like well and also the hairdresser the, the hairdresser really likes riding this bike because it's changed her lifestyle quite considerably. So instead, when she was going to go to place XYZ, she would take the car and now she takes the bike because she's arriving you know, without really having taken an effort and she can just go and park the bike wherever she wants. Also for her um, work, she can take the bike and basically put it in someone's um, front garden or uh, just take it into their house because it's, it's comparatively small. In that respect, she would probably be better off with 
a slightly smaller bike because the bike has some logistical disadvantages and the most biggest and obvious one is its size so it is one size fits all and you've also got um, the weight so it's 20 kilos now it does have a function on there where you can press a button and you can walk with the bike uh, now I'm using this a lot more um, so I'll give you a, a, a ride update as I get more mileage on it it has got a few little quirks like when you reset the uh, um, the, the speed limiter it resets the odometer I don't know why it might be something wrong that I'm doing there but you know that's the electronic side of it um, as far as you know, the build quality of the bike goes you are getting a serious amount of bike for your money so you could go and buy one of these or two of those absolute black hollow cages and they're about the same value but I'd take this any day of the week now um, I'll show you in the PowerPoint some of the geometrical features on it, but overall, it is, it's totally fit for purpose. I'm quite, to be honest, I'm quite impressed with it. Um, I didn't really expect it to be much in terms of the bike, but it's the lifestyle change that it has caused. If you are one of the regular viewers of the channel, you will know about the extensive use of numerical modeling that I do on here. Now that would not be possible without Skillshare, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Now Skillshare is just a bit more than a learning platform. It allows you to interact, grow and succeed in tasks that you may have otherwise found somewhat challenging. In my case, I joined Skillshare for two primary reasons. The first was to improve my German and the second, which is a lot more relevant and you've just seen, was to improve my Excel visualization skills. So it appeals to a wider range of people such as those viewing the channel. Now, the course that I would recommend is this one, which is called Microsoft Excel Essentials Level 3 VBA Programming by Alan Jarvis. Now, I found this course to be quite engaging and pitched at just the right level. Um, he covers everything like visualization strategies for wider audiences, um, some of the key coding, and also fine levels of customization that give you the tools to adapt what you've learned to your particular situation. If you are interested in becoming a member of Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link or my code Hambini will get a month free trial of Skillshare. And now we come on to that favorite time of the show again. It is time for PowerPoint. Now, um, let's check the pen is working. The pen is working right enough of that stupidity i don't know who would think of anything so stupid and then go from there to calling a presentation the village bike that won't give you an std by hambini aged five i think that should be sti like subaru sti or other kind of stis or st anyway right we digress right by hambini aged five where's the pen right uh, I've only put this, this is only a short one. This is the spec of the bike. So the, what we've got on the left is what it was uh, declared at in the spec sheet and then what I found it at when I measured it. So, I mean, the weight is heavy, 22 kilos. Um, now, I'd be lying if I said you don't feel the weight when you, you're pulling along. You feel it right before the motor kicks in. Um, just when the motor kicks in, it's fine. You're nothing wrong with that. But before that, you feel, will feel 22 kilos. Um, the assistance speed. Now, this, this is where it really gets interesting because you, if you are at 24 kilometers per hour, the difference between that and then when you go to 40, and it'll go easy 40 plus, is like night and day. You can just smoke everything. Uh, off the lights if you're in a built-up area it's great um, <laughs> and, the, and then the range now the hairdresser um, the, the range for her varied massively because it varies on what power setting you've got on the bike so one two or three um, and or four five and then also the kind of terrain you're going on and if you do loads of stop starts because if you do loads of stop starts the range gets hammered um, so I think the worst one she got was 20 miles uh, and that was on full power and quite a few stop starts and yeah, 
but it was that's that's your absolute extreme. Um, the drive motor hub is rated at 250 watts. I've got no way of checking that. Um, the gears are Shimano. Now you can get them depending on which model of bike you get. Um, with uh, I think it's nine speed and eleven speed. A recharge from flat. So if it was completely empty, it's quoted at six to seven hours. Um, as found, it's five to six hours. Now let me just show you the website. So this is the Futura Ride website. Um, you've got um, this is the D30 and this one's the D30C. They look very similar. Um, the, the subtle differences in the gearing and the voltage rating on the uh, on the battery. Um, I can't really say much about it. I mean, it just it just works. Um, no real issues with getting it and then putting it together.